In this video, I will show you a quick tutorial on how I installed this Tesla wall connector in this garage. Now we have to determine where we can drill a hole to feed the wire to the basement. You want to plan the shortest path because wire can be very expensive. I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then leave a bit in the wall so I can find it later on in the joist. After inspection, the area is good. I can complete making the hole. You should install foam tape at the back of the box. This prevents cold air from entering into the basement. After drilling a hole into the back of the box, it's good practice to remount all the edges to make it nice and smooth. I'm temporarily mounting this box because I'll need to take it down later. From the edge of the box to the corner of the wall is 12 and 3 quarters. This center point, I will be placing it on the PVC conduit and this will be my bending point. Heating up PVC conduit is pretty easy. All you need to use is a heat gun. Heating up the general area until the area gets hot enough and then the plastic will get soft enough to bend. For 1 inch fittings, the whole saw size is 1 and 3 eighths. I also like to remote the connectors. Now I can secure the box onto the wall. The conduit is a little long, I will need to cut it down. I will also need to file and ream the edges. and add washers to my screws to give it a little more support. You must follow the maximum strapping distance because the PVC pipe is not rigid. Be very careful when removing the jacket from the wire. You can easily damage the wire inside. Since I was working alone, I couldn't use the fish tape to pull the wire. What I did was install one 10 foot piece of pipe and fed through 11 feet of wire and pull the remaining wire to the termination point. Once I had enough wire to reach the point, I slid on the remaining pieces of conduit. These are the things that's in the box. And there are many entry points in the wire box, top, bottom, and back of the box. The only fitting size allowed on this box is 3 quarter inch to an inch and a quarter.
I will need to make a quarter inch box offset to go into the wider box and it's easy to make. When mounting a plastic wire box, you must drill pilot holes at the back and use weatherproof screws that is supplied. When you're using the white wire as a ground wire, it's a good practice to identify the wire as a ground wire. When terminating the wire box, you will need to strip the wire half an inch. When terminating the double pole breaker, it does not matter red or white wire goes top or bottom slot. 